Hello, in this video I'm going to be um, covering an accordion book that I will make into a, an accordion junk journal to give as a gift to someone. I found this kit to make the book um, in my stash. I've had it for years. I don't know where it came from. I'm not sure where I bought it, but it's Paper Source Accordion Book Binding Kit. Um, it says, kit includes everything you need to get you started making your own accordion book. It is the perfect way to capture your memories. Well, I have been carrying this little kit around for years. When I say years, I mean maybe 12 years, something like that. I, I don't know, but I've got to start getting rid of, or I've got to continue to get rid of, things that I've been keeping for way, way too long. If I'm not going to use them, then I should really give them to somebody who will. And I think this is kind of nice. Now, I already covered whether this is the front or the back. I'm not sure. I'm going to, make, I'm going to cover both the front and the back. These are chipboards. And the, the one, one is already done. So I'm going to do the other one today with you. My name's Laura, and I'm from the Queen of Mirth. And I'm really happy to be here doing this with you today. Nothing makes me happier, actually. So, here we are. Now, I already, to save time, I already traced around the, this is either the front or the back. I'm going to decide after I'm done whether which side which is the best and the best one will be the front that's why I don't know which is which yet and I already traced around the chipboard this is to save time like I said and I'm just going to cover it now I'm not going to do it exactly the way I did this this one I put another piece of paper over over the um, parts that I had folded over, and it's not necessary. I, I didn't realize that um, the, the accordion part will cover the whole, the whole thing, but that's fine. I mean, not the whole thing, but it will cover all of this um, second paper that I put on. So this, this one, I'm just gonna put the pieces over. And then this is the, this is the beautiful red paper. It's a very nice quality cardstock that came with the kit. So here we go. I'll put you over there, get you out of the way. Now, okay, so I, I traced around with a pencil and now I'm just going to cut to the corner and I do of a 45 degree angle on both sides. It's not really a 45 degree angle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact. Some people like to make everything exact and if that's you then do go ahead. You know we all make these our own. We all do our our own style. We all have our own style of, of putting things together and of creating. And it's all good. There's no real right or wrong. So here we are. Now, I'll just get rid of these. a 
bone folder here because it really helps with the folds. And this is cardstock that I'm using. It's you don't have to use such heavy paper, but I like to with covers especially because it, it's stronger and the whole thing will last longer, I think, if I use a good paper. The particular cardstock that I'm using is from a Celestial kit or a Celestial package of cardstock, which I got at Michael's. Um, I don't know, I can't, I can never remember what they call it, but they have this kind that's on sale all the time. And they, it's, they have various, um, various styles of scrapbooking paper in books, I think with maybe 40 or 50 pages. It's a very, it's a good deal. And occasionally I buy that. And this is the Celestial one, which I'm going to use throughout this particular project. Now, there we have it. Okay, now, nice. I think that's good. So, um, now to glue it down. This is a special bone folder for book binding, and I like it very much. these tabs down. important to get this to really stick down.
one down first before I do the other one. side. There. I think that's pretty much it for this part. bit sticking up here. I'm just going to try and get some glue in there. Now the next part is to decide which one I like the best. I think they're both pretty much the same. Um, I think maybe I like this one. So that will be the front. here like so. Lobs of glue because sometimes they stick, they, they make the paper stick out or cause ripples or whatever, wrinkles. Don't like that. Now I 
just want to make sure that it's nice and even. Like, maybe like so. where I like to have it centered perfectly. Okay. Nice. It's beautiful. So I'm going to push down, turn it over and push it some more. And I must tell you that y you can make this. You don't need a kit at all. You just need two pieces of chipboard the same size, whatever, whatever um, measurements you want your book to be. And then you just make an accordion out of cardstock. And certainly you won't, most likely won't have a piece of cardstock this long, that doesn't matter because you can just um, use your regular cardstock and attach the pieces together. And you can make a book just like this, very, very simply. So let's get this part done and then I think we'll be finished for today. Get it close to the edges because I don't want the corners or the sides peeling up. And this is pretty good glue. I'm quite happy with it. It's my Scotch brand, Scotch brand um, tacky glue. This is tacky glue, white glue, but it's it's I find it's just as good as the art glitter glue and it's it's um, not watery at all. So things don't tend to buckle when I use this glue. And that's one of my main criteria for glue. So now we're gonna bring this all around here. dries very quickly this glue so I have to move fast. Okay. Oh here. Let's get a bit more over here. I hope you can hear me. I find myself practically whispering, you know. I'm actually quite a calm person as a rule, especially when I'm making art. Oh man, I become quite at peace. So I'm not bouncy, that's for sure. Although sometimes I get pretty excited. And let's just put this here. Okay, I'm finding this part's a little bit harder than the other one because of all of the bulk. I now have the other cover and everything else. There, I think that's good. and my 
my famous bone folders. I, I have three out right now. But I find with doing book binding especially, I really need bone folders. Although, this is my famous bone folder rock. It's, a, it's just a beautifully polished stone that works very well. So you don't need a, an official bone folder. You just need a nice polished rock. No, this isn't sticking. Why not when the other one did? I do not know, but let's try it again. It could be that it just dried. It looks like it's all dry. I can't believe it. It's, I've got to move really fast here and do that over because it was in a good place and I see that it's going to work just fine. The other one stuck. The glue's good. I do not know why it came off, but we don't always understand everything. But what we do understand is how to deal with things when they don't work out. We just figure it out and do something different or do it over, which is what I'm doing in this case. Yeah, it looks like that glue is completely dry. It looks like it from here anyway. The first glue I put on, I mean. Crazy. You know, I think I know what the problem was. The other one had that extra piece of paper. So it, let's just make sure I line this up before I start talking anymore. Between this red paper and the and the um, chipboard, there's a little space that there wasn't on the other side. Remember how I had put another piece of paper over the back? So I think that's the problem. It didn't stick down, so I'm going to push. hard. Right down. It needs to be slightly concave, but you can't see that. You know, it's it's all good. Oh, I think we're done. It's gonna push down. So I'm pushing with all my weight, actually. I, well, I'm sitting, so all of my sitting weight, but I'm pushing my hands as hard as I can. And I'm hoping that, yeah. So this is, this is the accordion book. Some people call it a concertina book. Um, I think it's kind of beautiful. It came from a kit, 
as a paper source accordion book binding kit. Um, but you certainly don't need to have a kit to do this. All you need is two pieces of equal um, chipboard, cover them, put a fan inside that measures just about, just a little bit smaller than the chipboard, than the dimensions of the chipboard. And there you have it. So I want to thank you very much for being with me today. I really appreciate it. I would appreciate it also if you would subscribe to my channel and press the like button if you like this video. Do try to make one of these for yourselves. Um, they're so useful. I'm going to put some pockets in here and I am going to give it to someone as a gift. So thank you very much and I hope that you'll come back and see me soon. Bye.